It's me, isn't it? It is. Hey. Hello. (laughs) Hi there. (laughs) Hi, it's me. Sorry. We can start from here, maybe. Hi, everyone. It's episode 28 of Fab Life, Lauren and Lee. Season two, season dos, we are here. We're back in the studio, which is like where we just want to live now. We don't want to do it. But, you know, I hate yeah. it when we have to then go back to do it remotely. Honestly. It doesn't seem right. No, it doesn't. And like, it just, you know, everything's wrong about it. You mm. have to do so much work as well. And um, we've got Phoebe back as well. Phoebe's She's doing back. all that work. <laughs> back She's by grafting. Man, Phoebe. Whoop, whoop. Absolutely grafting over there. She, I, I, I was worried there. she wouldn't come back because of <laughs> me being so mardy last week. Well, tell us about your mood. <laughs> it's about fine. Your mood. I'm good. How low? I'm good. How high? It's I'm, I'm high. Okay. Literally, <laughs> hi. That's how I'm getting through the days. <laughs> I've been high for the last week. <laughs> oh my God, fantastic. So you're feeling, oh, you look brighter. Do I? There wasn't an exhale at the start of this app. Oh no. A sad exhale. Oh. Oh, did you notice that? Why did I do well, that Well, because, week? you know, uh, when we did the Our Origin Story episode and, you know, I've shared a hotel with, room with you a lot. Oh, yes. And we had all the moods then, didn't we? Because we literally spent twenty four seven with each other. We did. So we know we know each other's moods, and that, like when you're sad, it's it's is the it, exhale. Is it infectious? Can you feel it? Is I it palpable? It, do you know what? When we used to share hotel rooms together, I think it probably is because we we'd be like, oh, we empathise with each other so much because yeah. we spent we knew every like bit of goss from any text you got off a guy or whatever as well. So you'd be like, oh, I remember sharing a room with Ruth, friend of the pod, and um, I'd just been dumped. Like, really? just been ghosted, actually, by a guy I was actually seeing as well. Oh, God, is this your dump this story? Is, maybe it's <laughs> my therapy week. <laughs> and I remember, and like, Ruth just didn't know what to do when I was like, oh, God, I'm just going to go have, <laughs> oh, a, God, have a long that. shower. And I'd got myself some chocolate, and I was just like, and she was like, she was so great, but she was like, you just do you. She just knew what to say, mm. you know. And I just went and had a really long, hot shower. Where were we? We were in Bristol. Oh, and had some chocolate cup of tea. Did we go out? I don't think we even went I out. I like Bristol. Time. I've always said. I was talking to someone from Bristol yeah, the other day. It doesn't sound like it would be a nice place. No. Bristol. It sounds like it would be a bit of a dump. But it's gorgeous. It's great. Do you know what I mean though? Bristol. Well, it was new to the shopping nice. centre we were working in as well. So mm. it was bright. It was early. It was really hot though. Do you not remember? We all had to get sun cream. I can't remember. Oh, it was too hot. Always like protect yourself, guys. Always protect SPF, yourself. thank you. <laughs> Cheers for that. So you're feeling much better, Lily? Oh, always. I mean, you know, you gotta you got to move on. you got to move with the times, man. you you, gotta, live, you, you got to roll with the punches. <laughs> I'm so okay with being rejected. <laughs> I'm so great. I'm okay, guys. I'm okay. <laughs> I didn't know Liza Minnelli was joining us this week. <laughs> Have you ever seen that sketch? Liza Minnelli turning off a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god watch it it was on SNL and she's like she walks over to it like I can't remember the actress it's uh oh she's a really famous actress and is uh, it like Amy Paul or something someone, yeah, yeah. Oh, but what's her name and she she, she like walks over and she's like, oh I've got to turn off this lamp but I just want to fuss it oh and like she <laughs> and like she doesn't turn the lamp off and she's like Oh, oh, and like she like <laughs> doing like Rich Man's Frog or whatever yeah, it's called. Like, like oh, I've got to turn off this lamp. <laughs> oh, we've got to post it on the party. It's the funniest sketch I've ever seen. Oh it's God, called great. Liza Minnelli tries to turn off a lamp. <laughs> well, weirdly, I've been watching um, a Drag Race Down Under. I've not watched a Drag Race in I'm like so behind, but it's been on BBC Three like really late at night. And someone did Liza on Snatch Game, and she doesn't actually talk. She just is like, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> <laughs> like she thinks she won. Have you seen that video of where like was it Anne Margaret? Anne Margaret. Oh, I don't know. Anne Margaret. Where have you found out? Aussie. That's what I found on Saturday Night Live. Oh no, it wasn't. It's a it's a real famous actress. Who's Anne Margaret? What's she of? I've, yeah, I don't know who Anne Margaret is. I think she might be a real famous actress too. I think it rings a bell. <laughs> is, she? is she big in America? Uh, Anne Margaret. Maybe it is. I thought it was um, the woman from Bridesmaids. Uh, that's what I had in my head. Oh, yeah, she's. Oh, she what's is she in called? Bridesmaids, isn't she? Uh, no, it's the one who's like. Um, the, the Christian Wig? Yes. Yeah, I'm sure it's her. Turns off a lamp. Maybe it won't be. I can imagine her doing that. Actually, she's really funny. Yeah, that's Christian. Yeah, it's Christian Wig as Liza Minnelli, and it's her Who's turning off the lamp. Though? Is that a bit like an older woman, Anne Margaret? I yeah, don't it, is, it is. But I've got the woman from Bridesmaids doing it, 
but uh, her but they've posted it as Anne Margaret. Oh, that's oh, so right. weird. Oh, I think she also does an Anne. Sorry, oh. guys, I've derailed your pod. I'll stay. I'll stay. <laughs> out. I'll don't, stay worry. Out of it. don't worry. Don't worry. We, we love a tangent effort. in this house. You're one of us. You want you, that? We've infected you with the tangents. That's what it is. Yeah, she loves the tangent. Does Lauren? Oh, I love a tangent. You are <laughs> wearing merch Cut today. She's got a Silla Black though. top on. All the people on YouTube watching this will be able to see. But if you're listening, I'll describe it. It's a black tea. That is uh, Stella Black's face. Do you know what? I get so many uh, comments on this tea. And like a lot of tourists who like n- are obsessed with English culture kind of thing, like Hun culture, mm. they'll be like, oh my God, Stella. Like, I love that top. I'm like, oh, thanks, babes. <laughs> um, it was hard to find though. We did a giveaway, didn't we? We uh, did. When did season one blew up. <laughs> we did a we did a cheeky giveaway, didn't we? We had a Stella. You've got to have some of Stella. Who won it? that? Some fella, I don't even know. <laughs> Some, <laughs> someone. I was really hoping he'd like post pictures of it and be like, oh, oh, thanks. He's probably binned it. And he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably binned it. He, I, did a, I did some dolly sticks. He was just in it for the dolly sticks and the gym. Oh, aren't we all? Because we did Brockman's. Brockman's, yeah, they like sponsored it, didn't they? They've got adverts on the tube now. Have you seen that? Oh, have they? Maybe we've just. I'm waiting for them to do a tinny. Oh, a gin Wouldn't that a be good? Gin in a tin, yes. Yeah. Do you know Waitrose at the moment are doing three for four on uh, on all the tins? But that includes like the Sip Smith and the OP. Oh, nice. Oof. Are you a gin drinker, Phoebe? You uh, like yeah. a bit of gin. What's your poison? Would it be a gin and tonic? I do like a gin. To be honest, alcohol is my poison. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything Quite that literally. gets me drunk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. My favourite drinks at the moment, I think, in the summer... A pint of cold rosé. As you know, I like a mega pint. Mega Gorgeous. pint of wine. Yeah. That's how mm-hmm. she rolls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or I've gone back to vodka. Oh, right. Because I was getting too many hangovers with beers and wines. Right. And I went back yeah. to my... Eight- I was like, what did like 18-year-old Phoebe manage yeah. to just drink loads of and not suffer yeah, yeah, too yeah. much? But like was that vodka. because you were 18? Probably, <laughs> probably. But vodka's cleaner. It is. Yes, it is. Vodka and gin. They say tequila as well. Te- tequila's yeah. quite good for the gut, apparently. A good it's tequila. It's made in the sun. It's the only alcohol that should be an upper. Is it? It yeah. is, in yeah. The sun, yeah. And I think you have. it gets a bad rep because like, when you're younger, you drink a lot of shit tequila, don't you? Oh. And you get really sick. But actually, if you have the good stuff in a margarita, you just can't go yeah, Absolutely. I that can't remember a night, though. If I have too many tequilas, especially in a row, then I'm like, oh, yeah. that's it. I'm not going to remember the night. I right. used When I used to drink vodka, I could remember everything. I still remember most things on a night out. Actually, I'm quite good like that. But I had to switch from vodka because it was giving me a headache. And now I'm on gin and I don't remember. It's not the uh, memories quite aren't as clean. Right. In my brain cells. I've never been into vodka. It's never oh, really. I love, I, I love I don't a vodka and orange juice on a morning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the OC. Do <laughs> yeah. you remember the episode of the OC? Where was the it the? Who was it? it was the alcoholic? His mum. And I yeah. used to like get really into it. And I used to d- sometimes pour a fresh orange and vodka when I was like 14, 15, <gasps> just pretending to be her before school. It was ludicrous. I don't oh know what I was God, doing. I well, my friend in uh, who lives in Prague, she has this like juice. And when we went to stay with her. It all came out that whenever they make orange, because it was be- like the oranges they had, it's just all stunning. And she's like a mixed juice and stuff when we're all hungover, like a detox juice. And then we had orange juice and she was like, yeah, whenever we have fresh orange and I just have to pour a bit of vodka in. Right. And her partner was like, what? He was <laughs> like, yeah, about yeah. yeah. He was like, and he was like, why don't you pour it in mine? She was like, you might, I might have, you just never know because the orange juice is so nice. Oh. If I love it on a plane, vodka and orange. Mm. It's nice. Fresh yeah, no, I'm a gin guy. I'm a gin. I wouldn't. I wouldn't ever get like a vodka, yeah. vodka soda or anything like that. What about a bloody murray? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say anything cocktail based, it, which is a vodka cocktail. I would you be are. happy with. Yeah. And a uh, what's it? Espresso martini. Uh, I was. I was like, no, I won't have. <laughs> I won't have a crisp with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. What's it? <laughs> so what's it? Yeah, it's a cheesy uh, cocktail. Espresso with martini with rum is quite nice, actually. Is it? Mm. There is a tequila one as well. There is. There is. <laughs> we should do a cocktail class on your YouTube. Oh, you could yeah. Do it in here. You could do it in here. I, d- I can make a fucking good margarita. I know you can. Would you have your straight up or on the rocks? I love it either, to be honest. I'm on. Uh, I'm on on the rocks kind of guy. Oh yeah, I don't mind a margarita in like them '80s kind of martini glasses. I like my margaritas like I like my relationships <laughs> on the rocks. <laughs> a bit s- with a salty rim. <laughs> with a salted rim. <laughs> slightly sour. And makes me forget everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the next 
gag for when you do uh, your next gig. <laughs> gag for the gig. I'm not sure that would make no, best No, but bits, you could but refine <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll work on it. <laughs> so what did we miss last we time? We missed, talking of gigs, we missed Green Man Festival. We didn't get the update, so... You were taking mother and father, which I love that you took them because that is so cute. Yes. Did they drive you? They did. <gasps> Drove me insane. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, yeah. So for anyone who doesn't know, Green Man Festival is a festival, music festival <laughs> in Wales, in the Bracken Beacons. <gasps> and um, so my mum and dad are massive music fans. They are. I always forget this. Yeah. And so they're, they're quite cool. Like dad goes to Glastonbury and they like search out like these new bands and whatever. And I'm like, unless it's Adele or it's been in a musical, I don't know what it is. And they're like, you didn't get your music taste from us. Exactly. Like, like I remember as a child being like, my dad being like, oh, I found this band. Like they're kind of new. I think they're going to be huge. And I was like, what, what's the name? And they were like. He was like Coldplay. I was like, oh, terrible name. It'll never catch on. Like, I, I remember he would like. <laughs> the lead singer's ugly. Things, I'm not going to watch that. And then yeah. all of a sudden, Yellow was go. on the bloody radio and Where? the rest is history. Um, but he's not like one of them where he shows off about it. He's just genuinely he's just loves like music. into it, yeah. So I was like, oh, I've been booked for this festival. I don't know if you've heard of it. I haven't. It's called Green Man. And they're like, get they were out. Like, oh. <laughs> so then I was reading them the lineup and I was like, oh yeah, I don't know any of these people. Craft work, don't know who they are. And yeah. they were going, craft it. Uh, no, I don't. And then the, and I was like, public service broadcast. He was like, what? They're on. And he, Michael Koenaka or someone. Yeah. Who, and, and he was like, so he knew them all. I didn't know anyone. <gasps> um, so I got them tickets. I was Aww. like the cool son, got them tickets. It was their 40th wedding anniversary over that Aww, weekend. Happy Annie. So they went and said, the only thing I will say, and I think this is a generational thing, my God, questions after questions after questions. They, love they have a plan. to know As you everything. Get older, you need a plan for everything, don't you? I've realized. And I didn't know what was going on. I've never been to this festival before. I don't know how it all works. Um, so I was like, you know, trying to just not be infuriated by that. Um, Happy fucking anniversary, mum and dad. <laughs> Shut up. So I was on the co I was in the comedy tent. And the way it worked is in the, in the day it was like a kind of uh, prose and like literary tent. Spoken word. Spoken word. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then at seven p.m. it and changes comedy to comedy. Hit. So there's oh about five hundred seats. And I'm just like, I'm due on at five past seven and there's about 15 people sat down. I was gonna say, cause you just, everyone might have gone back to the tent at that point. And well, they were like, because out. nothing had been going on for an hour. Yeah. They said, don't worry. Once you get on and start people making just noise, by. they trickle in. Yeah. So, but I'm like, get them in now, make an announcement. Cause I, I still light as well. So you can and see And two of the 15 were my mum and dad sat there and I'm <laughs> like, oh God. And they're I'm like, we've dying. heard these jokes before. Yeah. Anyway, it was lovely. Such a nice festival, like really fun. I didn't stay for a lot of it. I left the next day because I'm not a festival kind of guy. You're not, I, uh, I no. love a festival. What ones have you been to? I've been to Bestival. Right. Been to Camp Festival because hmm. Freddie got three tickets. Been to Isla White Festival. I've been to... Phoebe, are you a festival? Yeah, are, you strike I me as one. I literally live in festivals. Do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love them. What do you love about them? Oh, oh my God, there's so much. Well, when I went oh. to my first one, it was just the whole vibe and all the people. Mm. And it's just like- No oh, one's okay. having a bad time, are they? Like yeah, everyone's just there. Like you can go up to anyone and like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back from you, <laughs> you're there. <laughs> um, yeah, and the music and all the people all together, like you get to meet all these different people. Yeah. One of my outfit. happiest memories was like being at Festival in, and we were waiting for, uh, like Fatboy Slim was about to go on. Prince had died and David Bowie had died in the same year. So it was just like, you know, they did a tribute to David Bowie, like in the woods on that uh, stage. I think the pink uh, did it. Yeah. And then they had a Prince DJ, like, like, and he did all the Prince songs. And we were in a field, me and all my friends. And this guy was like, uh, there was like bubbles. And you just, and, the, and it was really hot. It was a really hot day. And you just free. You're just mm -hmm. like having the best mm. time you with all your favorite people and you're just free and you're dancing in a field and it just is like that's one of my happiest memories like if i want to be in a good mood i think about that memory oh yeah i've met some of my best mates at festivals as well have really? you yeah because yeah. everyone's just like in it together yeah 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 no i think i would have enjoyed it like i because i didn't know the act 
acts like the only acts I really knew were the comedians. Yeah. So I would have like stayed a- around longer had I known. Like when I went to watch Adele, for example, that was a like mini festival in the day because so it, yeah, British summertime. It's yeah, got that vibe. Um, so it was good and the weather was nice and I can I can see why it was enjoyable. But I just like it's so funny. Like people will say to me. Oh, come camping. And I go, no, I'm not well, going to Well, you can glamp. It. When we went to festival the last time, we glamped. And it's like through a separate company. So, like, my friend just put it on a credit card and then we just all paid her back. Yeah. And uh, it's fab. And we only got, like, the basic glamping. We didn't get all, like, the charges and, like, the bedside tables and stuff. You didn't get a yurt. You can get yurts these well, days. Well, it is. It was, like, oh, a big TP yurt thing, yeah. But it was so fab. We got we got little, um, the one thing we did get was, like, little mattresses. Mm. Like, little squidgy things. It was, uh, but that that's a game changer because the showers are nice and stuff. And they had a cocktail bar in ours. And I'll tell you something. I think one of the big things was that um, it was sunny. I mean, if it was oh, wet it and makes a difference. hideous, it would have been like... I bet Phoebe's been to Glastonbury when it uh, rained, haven't you? I actually haven't been to like a festival that's been too much of a downpour. Really? Which oh, I think is really good. Because you remember that year with Glastonbury and yeah. it was on the news because everyone was like up to Oh, I knees. remember that. I don't know yeah. how much I'd have actually enjoyed And the field that. just... Got, yeah, yeah, I just... And people were coming home. Like yeah. People were just like, I can't actually walk around in this, can't enjoy myself. Because there are too many yeah. people and when it's like it's getting trod on. Oh. And people nick your tents, don't they, from what I've heard? Or is that a myth? That's uh. that's probably not Glastonbury. That's more like Reading. Right. Yeah, you need to pick the right one. Yeah, I don't think I, I'd go. To, I'd like to say I've been to Glastonbury. Yeah. Like, really, when Adele did Glastonbury, I would have loved to have been oh there. God, could you imagine? Yeah. Wilderness or... Um, What's another one? Like Latitude. They'd be good. For yeah, them. Latitude's a nice... And they're like quite ones. foody one. Like the, the food's mm-hmm. good and stuff. I yeah. went to Love Supreme. That was like a jazzy one. The oh, food's cool. really good for that one. And then the sound is really good. But they don't have comedy there. Actually, it's, it's scratch that, scratch that, scratch mm. that. Yeah, um, we need to get you gigging at one. And we went to Montreux Jazz Festival. Do you remember from my birthday a couple of years ago? Me and Freddie in Switzerland. Oh, and nice. it's called the Jazz Festival because it's like really... Like Aretha's played it and everything. And we watched Lizzo before... Like when that first album came out. Really? And like when we came back to the UK, everyone was like, oh my God, did you watch Lizzo? We watched Lauren Hill. And I mean, she was came out late and preached at us, so it wasn't a good. I wouldn't suggest watching her because all the rumours are true. Um, which is in a, a Lizzo song. Yeah, all the rumours are what true. Are Lizzo rumors? was the best person ever. We watched Janelle Monet, Um That she's just like a diva and she comes out late. And um, so her poor DJ was out there like. She was like, d- like playing all the bops. So we were like, whoop, whoop, like this is great, this is great. But then everyone started booing the DJ because she was over half an hour late. I don't understand how you can do that. And that Unless DJ gets booed problem. every night, and she was amazing. Oh. But then also the one thing is Lauren Hill. She could, she only had like one album, like, and everyone wants to make new, new music. And Freddie like loves that album, so he was like, it was a real bucket list moment for him, and he was really disappointed because she comes out and she sings the one album, but she does her like gospel versions of it or like remix versions of it. So it's quite like a low, like mellow mood after you've just listened to this DJ. So she's got you all hyped and then she's got, and then you've got mad. So you're booing and then she comes out and does all these songs and they're not songs. And Freddie's like, you just want to be able to sing along to at least one of them. And you can't cause they've been changed that much mm. that you can't even like sing along with her. And then she started preaching and there was all these like violent like imagery on the, thing on the which is like fine but it, was, it just took us by surprise and we were like oh god this is we're like, all tired we're, we're all coming here for a good time I not know. a bloody lecture the jazz festival. not a ted, fest- <laughs> ted, ted, ted talk festival. <laughs> yeah so it was all just a bit like and um, i just felt really bad on freddie because he just was really disappointed mm. yeah but we watched lizzo she was great janelle monet was great lizzo was by far the shining star of that moment she's a star but you can walk she? around you can walk and they have like it's on lake geneva and then we went to a pool party the day after. So it's not a festival festival, but they had like a free bit. There was some Michael Jackson dance offs between two radio stations in Montreal, which is weird. And I was like, this is not How many years ago was that? Well, not long enough ago. It was like about two years ago. Really? And I just thought it was really some odd. Some people are, because it's weird about Michael Jackson, isn't it? Because I was talking to someone the other day about um, being able to separate the art from the artist. Yeah. And. Someone was talking about J.K. Rowling and all the comments that she's made kind of a, around She just trans keeps digging that hole, our J.K., though, doesn't she? She's just going for it. Yeah, but I can separate, like, I can enjoy Harry Potter and not really think of her. I don't I think that I'll ever lose at the Harry Potter thing. No, but, but, well, he was saying, the person I was talking to was like, I, I'm not 
dealing with Harry Potter like I've, I've done. And he was a fanatic of it. Wow. Um, and then I was talking about Michael Jackson. Like, I don't think I could listen to a Michael Jackson song I anymore. I without, actually like, can't. Like, it comes on, I have to skip it. Yeah. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, but I can watch Harry Potter. But maybe yeah. that's because I love Harry Potter. I feel Potter. like Harry Potter's been turned into a whole... It's, it's become its, its own, own yeah. thing. Because like, when you think of Harry world. Potter, you think of Daniel Radcliffe normally. You exactly. wouldn't think of a random little boy that was in a book that someone... Yeah. yeah. That it came from, like so the I roots. I feel like yeah. lots of other people have handled the... <laughs> that's such the wrong word to <laughs> use. But as in like, for want of a better word, handled those characters yeah. and that plot to mm. a point that it's not just her anymore. There's yeah. been yeah. directors, there's been producer cuts and stuff. Exactly. But with MJ, the only the trouble with him is that lots of people are so on the fence that his songs just get played everywhere and they are bops. They are bops. They are absolute bops. Because I've caught myself once out of my, because like, when it comes on Spotify, it's like, um, I've, I've actually like thumbs down them so they don't like get, because we're in Algorithm. Like, yeah, so, because I had to, because we're in every playlist, every part, you know, when you've got friends coming around, you put, oh, put on like summer barbecue playlist or, or whatever. Mm. They're always on them all the time. But I've been out and it's like, dun, dun, and I'm like, not realizing what it is, and then I'm like, <laughs> yeah. But I've already sang the first verse. Mm. Yeah. Same with that. <laughs> I'm already halfway in. Same with R. <laughs> Kelly. I know. And Chris Brown ignition. as well. Does anyone feel uncomfortable with him? Or? Well, it's so bad. And I, I, I never really liked his music anyway. Oh, so did you not? I've, 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 I've boycotted him before. We should. Yeah, long before. <laughs> did you ever see that nude pic though? No, I didn't. Oof. Yeah, it's got a lovely. Uh, Oh, all yeah. right. Well, that it was him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I rated that picture of him, but um, <laughs> that was so weird at the time as well, though, because it was young girls, wasn't they? Going, oh, I'd let him beat me up to be his. You know what I mean? It was just like, what is the world coming to? Like, it's just so weird. Mm. Um, but yeah, his music's a bit, bit mediocre. He's very talented. He's got a good voice and he can dance, but he got ruined, didn't he? After that, is he back? Has he come back? Who, Chris Brown? Yeah, is he yeah, back? Yeah, I don't think he's ever really no. left though. Oh, I kind of thought, oh. He's no. always being featured. That's very sad. Yeah, he's a featured artist, but like on a Pitbull song. I don't yeah. really, I couldn't, I don't think I could sing one of his songs right now if you asked me to. There is a Pitbull and Chris Brown song. Cause I, was I bet there is. Well, who's Pitbull not work with? Um, Mr. Worldwide. Oh my God, <laughs> it's, it's called International Love. Uh, oh, yeah. It's you know. a bit dancey, isn't it? Well, all Pitbull stuff. Is. Yeah. Mr. Worldwide. Me and my brother think Worldwide. he's hilarious, Mr. Worldwide, because he's just like, what does he look like when he takes them glasses off? I don't have a clue what you two are talking <laughs> about. <laughs> <laughs> he's um, he's like Bali, and he like does Spanish rap. That means what? okay Hang in on, Spanish. You, you don't know, you don't know who people I've is. heard of them, but I don't know what they if look like. If he could like. get an Adele song, he would. He's on everyone's songs. Like, I've heard of Pitbull, but like when you were describing this Pitbull. He's got like a shaved head and glasses, and he's always like... Right. And I think I think his eyes are too close together or something. That's why he's always got them shades on. Really? Uh, yeah, it's got to be. But he's called Mr. like Gabrielle, <laughs> like hiding something. There's there's something going. <laughs> there's something deeper going on under the under right. them shades. I love Gabrielle. Did I tell you about the time that she guested on Loose Women? And you asked her about her eye. No, oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought that was going to go really bad. <laughs> no, but like I was making stupid jokes, so I was like, "Can someone get past Gabrielle's mug? It's a little bit." Out of reach. <laughs> and then, like, they were talking about thermostats on one of these topics. And I was like, well, Gabrielle doesn't need a thermostat in her house because she's always got it hot because she's got sunshine through her window. <laughs> she just rolled her eye. But, um. <laughs> oh, 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 getting cancelled. You're getting cancelled. Um, um, Gabrielle fans. I that's love how a Gabrielle. She, I she love was on uh, Adele. So many bops. Because Adele was like, Gabrielle's one of yeah. my favourite ever artists. So she had her on. Supporting <gasps> Voice her. like silk. Dreams can come true. Come in the baby now, bum baby do. That's what my friend's mum used to say. Oh, I was going to say, they're not the lyrics. I know. Yeah, that's a pit bull mashup by the <laughs> sounds of it. <laughs> yeah, that's the Spanish rap. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Worldwide, Mrs. Worldwide over here. Oh. Awful. I can't even remember how we got onto pit bull. How did we get there? Oh, God. I was like, I flatlined. You did? <laughs> <We were> like, <laughs> I was going like this. I was just like, head side side. You nearly did that sad exhale again. Oh, like from last week. <laughs> don't, don't. From last week. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right. Let's get you guys back on track. You wanted to talk about green. This is why we have baby. Thank you. Phoebe. What were the other things on your list? Oh, well, my God. What were the other things on our list? I, I you did a little call out. I did do a call out. And I got um, a suggestion of... Um, we uh, the Fab Life has want some tips. Obviously, you know, Fab Life is very generic in what we talk about, as you well know. Um, but 
someone has asked for tips on how to cope with a fab life, a champagne lifestyle. On a budget. During a cost of living crisis. We all know you hate that buzz phrase, cost of living crisis. Cost of living crisis. But you can't well, deny. I bought a flower before from Morrison, 79p. Can you believe that? It's 45p in Sainsbury's. Is it? I'm absolutely fuming about the cost of flowers. That's but not we won't another get reason to, to shop in Morrison's then, is it? I know. They're meant to be, you know, a shop for the people. Market mm. Street and all that. No more. Any road. Um... I feel like I'm doing this a bit at the moment. Really? Yeah, I'm doing, I'm like, me and Freddie, because he always gets quite quiet in like the summertime because it's school, like school holidays and he's not had any like commissions for his plays recently. So like he's been doing a lot of teaching, but that obviously like slows down in the summertime. Mm. And then I had a big cancellation of that event. So I was like, oh, I'm a backtracking here. So we didn't have as much to splurge in our usual fab life because we spent a lot of money on booze and going out and stuff. Mm. Um, But, in London, some in, I know not everyone lives in London who listens to the pod. Hey, to Japan there. Um, <laughs> and Ireland. We were in the Irish and podcast. And Poland. Show. And Poland. We were in the Ireland podcast. Podcast charts. charts the which comedy. was hard for me to say. <laughs> yeah, <it> was. Podcast <laughs> charts. <laughs> you couldn't help but do the acts. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the Irish, Irish podcast charts, so we are. <laughs> I think that's the wrong sound, isn't it? I don't know. Anywho. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you can do it. I bet in your local town, there'll be all free shit going on. And in London at the minute, there's loads of like free music going on, you know. And if you get down um, by Cold Drop Shard, where I do the markets, it's really handy. There's loads of free stuff going on. And instead of um, maybe going into the really expensive bars around there, we've nipped into the Waitrose, into the Trolls, got a bottle of Prozzi. Uh, that's Prosecco. Um, we didn't hire a prostitute from Waitrose. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the best prostitute you could get, though, buying it from Waitrose, it let me really tell you. Would. It really would. It be really would. <laughs> It'd be an escort. <laughs> it would be an escort, yeah. Sex worker. Uh, we got down by the canal <laughs> and drank a bottle of Prosecco. <laughs> <Prosy. laughs> what has got into you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sober. I, like, you've just said the sentence, we went to the Troes and bought a <laughs> bottle of Prosy. <laughs> Like, it's not making any sense. <laughs> she means we went to Waitrose and bought some Prosecco. Like, you don't have to abbreviate everything you fucking say. <laughs> oh, my God. We went to the Troes. We went, no because one has ever called it the Troes. Everyone knows what I'm saying because they have one to bring Everyone knows listens. the Troes. <laughs> what are you doing? Have you ever heard Troes, Phoebe? Like, no, Phoebe not? was like, guys... Just start talking about Pitbull again, please. <laughs> <laughs> Down the trolls. Down the trolls. It's Hit not. The trolls. Hit the trolls, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you come back. Till you got a bottle of Prosecco. I da, mean, da, da. you just was like. You were like popped 50p in you today, haven't they? Hey, I've got to make up. I thought you were going to be down in the dumps again. I was like, I better bring me <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> lasted for a long time. <laughs> so that's a good one. In the summer, though, it gets harder in the winter to do champagne okay. lifestyle. Um, so I think we have sorted that. If in doubt, go to the Tros, <laughs> pick up a <laughs> bottle of Prozzi, and you'll be fine. <laughs> and you'll be fine. That's Okay, that's Lauren's solutions. We should do this. Lauren, uh, you could be the agony aunt. Yeah, okay, so that's one. Here's another question from one. Adrian. And uh, he said, at what age? This, is a, this, is a, mm, this could be... This could offend some people. Okay. At what age is it acceptable to call someone middle-aged? Ooh. Ooh. Crowd goes, ooh. From what I've learned, never. Never, yeah. Never. Right. Yeah, don't make it like an adjective of when someone. I, when I first started my first ever big girl job, so I was fresh out of uni, 21. <laughs> big girl job. <laughs> big girl job. I was working in a proper, proper job. And my boss was in, he just turned 30. Maybe he was like 30. And you were 18? I was 21. Oh, 21. And I did refer to him as middle age. No. And how old are you now, Phoebe? Do you mind just asking? 26. So would you So now? I would be approaching middle <laughs> yeah, age. Yeah, middle age. But now I'm thinking. You're having what? a quarter life crisis though at that stage. I've yeah. had it. I've had a quarter. But now I think it's, uh, personally, I think it's because the, the age, like we, what's it called? We get old, we live yeah, longer, don't we? Live we live longer. The mortality rate is higher. So, yeah, I would say when we were kids... And Middle like, age would have been about 30s, 40s. 40s, yeah. But mm. now it's like 50s, I think. Yeah. yeah. I like wouldn't call someone middle age unless they were looking like they were 50s, 60s. Yeah. And how many people do you meet these days and they're in the 40s and you're like, what? You're in your 40s? Because when we... I feel like when we were kids, the people you knew who were in the 40s were like... looked. I don't oh. know. just mm. seemed older. Mm. 
So yeah. now you're like shooketh if someone's, I've had it when someone's asked my age and I'm like, oh God, I'm only in my thirties. And they're like, you don't look it. And I'm like, what does that even mean? You know what, what happened that? to me the other day? And uh, it was actually yeah, in, 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 was <laughs> in Troes. Was it in the Troes? <laughs> it was in Troes. It was in the Troes and I was buying a scratchy. <laughs> oh god this is uh champagne lifestyle on yeah 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 well I, you know what? it's a secret i'm willing oh, to admit you've, yeah you've said this before i do it's your like little a thrill. scratch card it's yeah. common i know i know you hate the word common but it's a bit like mm, do you know but i love a scratch card you don't need I love, to do it i, I think i'd be quite a bad gambler I yeah. think if I had it, I'm not interested, me. Oh, see, I am. Um, I like a bit. I like the kick. We should go to Vegas. I'll just leave you though when you start getting into it, and I'll just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, scratch card. You have to be 16 to buy a scratch card, mm. right? It's addictive. That's why. And I said, could I get a scratch card? Oh. I get number. F uh, I said, I'll get number three, please. Get number three. <laughs> and was uh, that the brightest? I like. Well, I like to look at them. What's what's standing out at me? Yeah. I, number three, please. And he goes, he looks at me, he goes, do you have any ID, please? I was like... Are you joking? I s and I do have ID. Because you know when people just get I annoyed? Don't. I never do. Yeah, it's, it, that baffles me. I carry ID on me all the time. It's just always in my Depends wallet. Depends if I have my purse or not. Because sometimes you just go uh, out every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, you've just right. put your phone on. If yeah. you've just like popped... So sometimes I just like pop down to Tesco's and then they're like, do you have ID? And I'm just like... I'm, if you just look them in the face, especially if you've had a long day, that's normally when they ask you and you just go... I'm 26. Yeah. And then they could just carry that wine out. I do that. I just go, but look, look at me. I'm like, <laughs> on the Tesco thing, like they do the whole, if you look under 25, 25 you get ID. Yeah. So I don't mind it so much for alcohol, but for, for, um, for a, scratch a scratch card. So I went, yeah, I have ID. So I like showed him my ID and I was like looking at him in the face thinking, you're going to be embarrassed when you yeah. see this age of 32, 1990. And he looks and he goes, oh, you're lucky. And I was like, oh, what? And he was like, you don't look Was that he coming old. on to you? No, I don't think so. We're engaged to be married. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> and then I said, out of interest, how old did you think I looked? And he was like, maybe around 17. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm happy to say I'm looking younger Back than thirty. Back to the 32, facial hair chat. Well, we had I a few am weeks not ago. seventeen. You can you tell. Look, grow. I'm going to look right in the camera here. <laughs> you can tell I am not seventeen years old. You might have had a bad day with your A levels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I maybe could that's have. what it was. Yeah. And you were like blowing up your pocket money on a scratch here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But you know froze. what? When you were saying the same about you don't like getting ID'd for scratch cards, I hate it with like ibuprofen. Oh yeah. And you're yeah. just like, are you serious? Would you know what? When you go in boots, you don't have to. Do it's you know only what? in <laughs> supermarkets. Because I really? noticed that. It was only because I had toothache. This was like months ago. So I was like, I, I, I bought some a couple of days earlier in Morrison's and they have to come over and like do the thing. And then I went into Boots and I was like, oh, I'll buy some. They'll just buy the till for in the bag kind of thing. And I just was like, oh. So now I always notice. I'm like, why do we? Because Boots is a pharmacy or something. They don't, I don't know. Uh -huh. you're the also, yeah, you're also not allowed to buy more than two packets or something because they're worried two about overdosing. Very true. But That's the law. As we got told at school, you can't overdose on it. It will fuck up your, sorry, it will mess up your <laughs> liver before, like you'll probably be sick. Yeah, be because like your really, liver really can thick. um thingy it can. Yeah, I mean, if you took loads of ibuprofen all at one time, it might mess up your stomach line. It, like, it, you yeah. might cause internal bleeding, so then you might die that way. But like, <laughs> if you were trying to have just a normal, oh. don't try this at home. Basically, yeah, home that's home. so. I, I think because we were in an all girls school, we were learning about this as teenagers. Yeah. A lot of mental health issues. He was just like, so oh, don't you try it with like, with, don't try it with ibuprofen. Well, <laughs> we when like, I okay. worked at Good Tesco, job. we knew that law. But what you could do. This was this is the ludicrousness of the law. I think it's slightly changed now, but this was years ago. You couldn't buy more than two packets of ibuprofen or paracetamol, right? But what you could do is you could buy two packets of 20 paracetamol, yeah. so 40, but you wouldn't be able to buy two packets of 10 and 20. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, so you like buy you, the bigger pack. It was, it was by the pack. Yeah, you could buy a bigger pack. So you could buy a pack of 40, two of them, you could get 80. But you couldn't buy two packets of 10. Oh my God, that's fucking stupid. This is thrilling chat, isn't it? It is. <laughs> well, going back to champagne lifestyle. Right. How do you do it when, you've, when you've been a bit skint? Um, or just generally now when we realise like we're just running out of money. Well, I that. think lockdown taught us. I mean, I'm, I'm mm. talking about literally champagne and stuff. Has taught us that it's so much cheaper to drink at home. It is. It's yeah. actually depressing me how much money these bars must must be making. Yeah, I'd rather spend my money on on a drink though than like 
you know, I've got friends who love fancy restaurants and stuff. Mm. I'd much rather see a nice bar. So I think it's... I'd ni- have nice cocktails. Yeah. Or you can always just have like a couple of nice cocktails because actually sometimes you, the hangover from hell comes calling, doesn't it, when you've had a lot of sugary ones or mm. whatever. And then switch to a Prosecco or something. Right, I'm going to give some actual advice here. First yeah, of on. all, find a sugar mama dadda person. Yes. <laughs> hey, Instagram. Second of all, second they're of all, all, always on the go. Make sure someone else buys the first round. Because if you just want to stay for one, that's it. It's covered. Uh-huh. If you just want to stay for two, you know, people get shitter drinks as the night goes on. People move, like as in people go home. Yeah, don't You're, buy the big round. Don't I know. buy the I'm first round. I'm a sucker round. for buying the yeah. first one, so I know I've done it. Same. Oh. Um, and then I'm like out of pocket. Yeah. Or like people have stayed long enough so it comes back to your round and then everyone's like, should we go now? No, I used like, to have a mate. A round. nice cheeky middle round. Perfect. Nice mm. cheeky middle round. I used to have a mate though and she was a fucking nightmare. I don't know why I bleeped out my own fucking then when we swerved left, right and centre. But um, we'd always make sure she got a round in because when it got to, she'd always go last. And when it got to, she was like, oh, I'm not going to drink now, guys. Oh, that's or she'd so leave. annoying. She was so tight. Honestly, she was proper tight. I was like, you can't, you're not coming out with us. And she'd borrow all your tops as well, which you just were, you were already annoyed at her because she never had anything, because she just wouldn't spend the money on anything. Or it's like when you, when you, it's your round and they're like, I'll get a Long Island iced tea. And you're like, oh, well, yeah. £15.50 and then it's theirs and they're like, just half a shandy I got. I just didn't fancy yeah, it. Yeah, like, got a bulmers. Right, okay. <laughs> that's very annoying. Yeah, it is actually annoying. And, uh, we're, and we're not like penny pinchers. We're not like looking at the bills. But when yeah. you know someone's like that, it, ma- it makes you like that, doesn't you it? Get, and I hate yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, go on the lot. You know, you're out. You're a single Pringle again. I mean, back in London. So mm. you, you're on oh, the right. dating yeah. scene. Um, so you can just like, you know, maybe maybe aim to be like he's high flying. Well, no, because this a lot of girls generally, if they're dating men. A lot of the time, men pay, don't they? Yeah, they do. Gays do you know don't really do that. Was, I would never go on a date if I knew I couldn't buy my own drinks. That's a good mm. piece of advice. So Feminism. I would always have it in my account and hope that, and then be <laughs> like, yeah. but if I come away and like they've bought it, then fine. Right. So you. But you're, I always knew yeah. I could pay my way, or you know, like pay for my taxi home or something because I was like. This I might not like you, and I don't owe you anything really. You know, in the mm. grand scheme. Of yeah, I'm the worst with that though. I'll pay stuff yeah, yeah i i don't think i i i don't know but i used to have a friend who'd be like i just used to go on dates for free meals and i don't think i could do that i can't do that to another person but even no. though so many of those people are absolute trash that yeah. i shouldn't feel bad for it i just yeah exactly you didn't actually have a good time but it's like... true though why should a man pay for your meal i don't know like sometimes if they've like specifically been like i want to take you out and you're like all right like well Le but Jean, if you're both you into Jean, it i didn't pay for a thing yeah. They were the days. I oh. think it also depends. So <laughs> maybe the reason that I've grown up with this is that like I'm in the arts. Any other guy that I would have dated in mostly in the arts, I yeah. know that there, there's no wage gap there. Yeah, no. But yeah, you both if on the I same. Was, but if I was dating, like, so the guy that I used to date, I knew that he earned quite a bit and I was actually unemployed kind of, well, not um, unemployed, but like I wasn't in proper. Between jobs. <laughs> no, it wasn't that, but I just had like small kind of. Yeah. Yeah, like I had like, uh, an unstable pay, mm. yeah, if yeah, that makes sure, sense. Because yeah. I had a massage business, so it just depended Ooh. on like, yes, I still got it actually. Well, if you guys, oh my god, plug it, plug it. Um, Love but yeah, so like, I just didn't have regular, like, yeah, you were feast or famine, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And then uh, I would sometimes be like, well, why? I, I that was the only time where I was a bit more like, you should be paying for a few more things because. I know what you're making and I'm not making that much. Yeah. But it was also because he was a bit of a prick that I was like, you should be paying. What I want yeah. there is I'd be like, no, we'll half it. And I'd want them to go, Lee, um, you're not earning as much at You've the minute. Said the right you get thing. it when you're doing, yeah. but I'll let me get this. And then you're like, oh, thanks. Yeah, totally. Yeah, me and Freddie kind of do that. You know, if one of us is up and one of us is down, we're like, yeah, I'll get this. I'll treat you. Finally, though, I'm just going to say for next week, because I think we've got to wrap this pod up now. Um, Next week, it's back. Loose Women is back. How are you feeling? Are you a bit nervy, bit? You'll be nervous. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm ready. Are you already like feeling the vibe of being back in London generally? You're just like, I can't wait to actually live here. Because you know you'll, it feels different when you're actually living here rather than visiting. Yeah, London. well, I'm so glad to not have to lug suitcases left, right and centre and all yeah, that okay, crap. Nice. Yeah. Um, but what we're doing, hopefully, next week, is we will put out the pod a day late because so we can yeah. talk about the first day yeah, back. Yeah, we can talk about the first day back. Yes, 
You'll be in full swing. Oh my God, we'll get such good goss. And I'll have just done the Strictly launch as well. <gasps> the same day. Yes. Stop. He I'm back at Loose Women in the morning and then... Which I is why we can't record on... Car over to Elstree and I'm doing warm up for the Strictly launch. Oh, it's all happening that day. Yeah, it's I'll have all the gossip. Are you just for the launch or are you doing it for all Strictly? Just for the launch. There's, they usually use a guy who's fab. He's called Stuart Holdham. So he does it generally. I've covered once for him before. But and I think if he can't do a date, they'll well, he can't yeah. do this date. So I'm covering for him. So it's his gig. But if he's ever away or on holiday or whatever, I'll do it. So fingers crossed oh because I, I do like the live shows. They're really exciting. Yeah, so fun. And Kay, who's in... Loose Women, who's on Loose Women. She's, like she's in Strictly. Show. And she'll be really nervous because her first show, so you'll be able to like make her feel like relaxed, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, oh my God. watch this space. Watch this bloody Um show. I hope that's helped, you know. Tros for Prozzy. <laughs> what age is middle-aged? I would probably say, because he says I'd I'm say asking for a friend me. who's 46. I'd say 50. I'd 50 say the middle 50. of 100. Yeah. Oh, what, he's got a mate that's 46? Uh, he said asking for a friend who's 46, which I suspect means him. <laughs> I think, I think <laughs> for a friend. Approaching. Approaching middle, middle age. age. But that also, life begins at 40, so that's good. You're in a good spot. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Six years old. Yeah, fine. Yeah. You, you, yeah. Not middle aged. Um, tell your friend, yourself, that <laughs> you're doing fine. Adrian. You still got it. You're all right. <laughs> you still got it. You're not getting. Uh, I need for a scratch card anytime soon, <laughs> but you're you're all right, my friend. <laughs> Middle aged, you are. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so it's episode twenty eight. We will be back next week with strictly chat and loose chat, and it's going to be just so fucking fabulous. Phoebe, once again, thanks, thanks Thank for being so here. Much thanks for, for getting us on the right track. <laughs> yeah, thanks. God, what did we do before here? <sighs> How did we get here? We just talked shit. We're still talking a bit shit, but anyway, <laughs> episode 28 of Fab Life with Lonely. <laughs>